We now move to 1998. Microsoft releases its new Windows 98 operating system for the home PC. And Windows 98 was an update on Windows 95. It included some pretty cool new features, including a new Explorer window look, which continues all the way until today. We've got a new Windows update system. And one of the neat things about the Explorer windows is that it, Microsoft tried to make their windows look like the internet. We had back forward buttons in our browsers, we had address bars, stop, all of that, refresh, and so they brought that to the windows. They added address bars, they added back and forward buttons, so if you were going into uh, multiple folders it would all stay in the same window, which was nice. We also saw an update on Windows Update. It became a website which you would go to and get your updates through Internet Explorer. And Microsoft released a tool called the Critical Update Notification Tool. They changed the name to Critical Update Notification Utility for obvious reasons. And basically this tool alerted you that there was an update that you needed to get right then. And I'm going to start reading down a list of the new features. We had a new paint program, which allowed you to open up bitmap, PCX, JPEG, and GIF files. We got an update to Internet Explorer. Went up to 4.0. Got some new background uh, features. Bitmap, PCX, JPEG, GIF. And now you can include HTM files, HTML. This was called Active Desktop, and it was discontinued in... Vista, I believe, and basically you could have a web page as your wallpaper, which is kind of nice, I guess. Got an update to Microsoft Plus, got an update to uh, Front Page 97 called Front Page Express, which allowed you to do a little bit of HTML editing. Got a new uh, faster shutdown time, which was nice. You were also able to do uh, multiple displays, up to eight multiple displays from a single PC. You are able to sort fonts by the similarity, so you could sort Arial, Arial Bold, all of that. We got a new floppy disk driver, which made read-write speed a lot faster, hsflop.pdr. We were able to open up cabinet files, which was nice if you need to open up cabinet files. You got a new disk defragmenter wizard, so you could defrag the hard drive uh, easier, I suppose. You have a new system file checker utility, so you can check the integrity of core files, DLLs, .coms, VXD, driver, OCX, INF, HLP, stuff like that. You got a new Windows tune-up wizard, which trimmed down uh, some of the features you weren't using on Windows at the time. Got a new Dr. Watson to help diagnose errors and stuff like that. Got some new accessibility tools. We have a new magnifier, magnify the screen. We have a new wizard. So you can choose, do you need high contrast fonts, high contrast windows. We also got new hardware support, better USB support, AGP, ACPI supported in 98, including the DVD drive. And, of course, there was a uh, FAT16 to FAT32 conversion utility, which is nice. Now, I've been talking about Windows 98 a lot, but the there was an update to Windows 98 called Windows 98 Second Edition. It was released in 1999, update to Windows 98, and it was pretty much uh, stability. There were n really no new features added. So... After all of that, let's go ahead and have a look at Windows 98. Alright, for uh, time constraints, I'm only going to show 2nd edition, since it's pretty much the same. As you can see, we have the little splash screen here as it boots up. It takes a little while to boot up, but that's typical of an older operating system in VMware, so whatever. Cool. 
see if we got some sounds. Guess not. So here's the desktop. It really hasn't changed much from 95. Still got the same uh, stuff going on right here. Icons, taskbar. We do have some uh, taskbar icons automatically there, but it's all right. So let's go ahead and have a look at this active desktop. We can um, we can use a web page as our wallpaper, and this would continue all the way up until Windows XP, which is cool. As you can see, we have this web tab right here. I believe there's a Windows 98 wallpaper. That's really an HTML file. So we'll go ahead and use that. Enable Active Desktop, and there it is. And it has a hyperlink. So just click that, fires up uh, Internet Explorer. Let's try to update, see what happens. And, uh, yeah, we'll click yes. And it crashed. Well, that's typical of something like this. All right, so we're back to the desktop. Let's have a look at the Explorer windows. A little bit slow. All right, as you can see, we got some new stuff going on here. If we look just in the bottom area, we have a tab on the left side saying what folder we're in. Got our icons right here, as usual. But now we got something different. We have an address bar. So you can enter wherever you want to go, C, Windows, and it takes you right there. And another cool thing is that it helps to protect your system files. And it goes ahead and throws up an alert saying, warning, you shouldn't modify files in this directory because it'll screw up your system. And it gives you an option to show files, of course. So there they are. It still gives you this little warning on the side. Now back to the window. The window has some uh, really helpful tools, including the back and forward button. You also have the up a directory button. Cut, copy, paste right here. Undo, delete properties of the folder. We got some different views. We can view it small icons. We can do details, which is my favorite view which is really nice. And let's see what else we've got. Uh, we've got Windows Media Player. It's still the old school Windows Media Player. We're stepping up every day. Every uh, new operating system. As you can see we have MSN on here, which is pretty old. It's still around, so. Like I said earlier, we have the personal web server. You can set up on your own. And I need the disk, so. Oh well. But yeah, you can run this right here out of Windows 98, second edition. Let's open up Internet Explorer again. And this is an updated version. This isn't for, this is IE5, which caused the crash. So, and it's still crashing, so whatever. Not even gonna mess with it. It's telling me to update to Windows 90, or to Internet Explorer 8. And that is about it for Windows 98 we would see an even better updated version of Windows NT in the near future, which would be merged with the Windows name to give it Windows 2000.